Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about hybrid electric vehicle uh, input power slip uh, reference applications. Previously we are uh, using this uh, model called EV reference application that is electric vehicle uh, reference application especially for to measure fuel economy and uh, emissions. Uh, vehicles are uh, uh, run on these drive cycles. Here we are, we are going to use this uh, hybrid electric vehicle that is a um, HEV input power split reference application reference uh, represent a full uh, HEV model with an internal combustion engine, uh, transmission, battery, motor, uh, generator and uh, associated powertrain control algorithm use, use this HEV input power, power split reference applications for HEV testing. Also the important feature trade off analysis and control parameter optimization of power split uh, hybrid like a Toyota Prius and also you can use to create an open working copy of uh, HEV input power, sl power split reference apl application project enter in command command into MATLAB command into auto block HEV IPS uh, start block by, by default you will get this HEV input power slip uh, reference application is configured with this type of uh, battery pack and uh, nickel metal hydrate that is an NIMH battery pack and mapped electric motors and mapped spark engine ignition SA engine that is in this diagram shows powertrain configuration with engine and generator battery motor and wheel brake systems and also this wheel brake system contains a differential and wheel brake uh, algorithms that's a motor control with the gears gear influence and also this battery uh, contains a nickel metal hydrate battery and also some um, energy management uh, for that is a battery power vms battery management system also incorporated here here uh, this uh, uh, this table represents and that um, uh, block subsystems in the reference applications indicating which subsystem contains the variance is analyze and power uh, power energy here analyze and power energy block if you double click here means you will get analyze power energy block to open a live script uh, run the rise script to evaluate and uh, report power and energy consumption at the component and system level for more information you, 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 you see analyze power and energy block and the next one is the drive source block uh, drive source plug here uh, by default it is set by FTP 75 here uh, previous uh, video we are uh, discuss about we can change here the drive cycles and also get different types of um, uh, cycles by uh, by clicking add-ons add-on uh, in uh, math works you will get uh, some more drive cycle source here in this uh, in this block generates a standard or user specified and drive cycle velocity versus time profile this blocks outputs sent to the longitudinal drive and the environmental subsystems uh, creates environmental variable including road grade, wind velocity and atmospheric temperature. These are the blocks are available here longitudinal block and driver block and controller system block and passenger car subsystem blocks and the visualization block. Here to evaluate the report and power, the power energy uh, to open this one here or to open this one and you will get after this one you will get this type of uh, uh, report run simulation report. Uh, overall summary and engine plant summary electrical power plant summary these are previous one is the um, ev reference applications only uh, not in uh, embedded with uh, this type of internal component combustion engine and also uh, the, uh, this is not for uh, previous one not for trade-off analysis and not for optimization and in this hybrid electric vehicle uh, model it also you can use for control parameter optimization of power split uh, hybrid like this uh, toyota prius uh, model Okay, now uh, we can, you can see uh, if you click run, you will get the report uh, for this one. Uh, then next one, next one, we are going to discuss about how to get this one. Uh, the script provides for the overall energy summary. Now this uh, the script, the script, uh, the script uh, supports the overall energy sub summary and the engine plant summary. And uh, we, we can also export in this, uh, export this uh, file summary report and Excel spreadsheet and also engine plant, electrical plant and right hand plant efficiency including an engine histogram of uh, time spent and different engine plant efficiencies data login so that you can use the simulation data inspector to analyze the powertrain uh, efficiency and the energy transfer signals. Okay, then uh, the drive cycle source blocks, the separately we can discuss now. The, uh, here this timing and the output sample time it varies you, you, you can also choose uh, continuous or uh, discrete size discrete variant uh, by default it is selected as uh, continuous um, uh, for uh, operator commands uh, it also uh, discrete operate commands now we are getting uh, this model then after uh, after uh, uh, generating report after finish this one we can see the result 
means same you can just uh, analyze this what are the blocks are there and then longitudinal driver subsystem generates normalized acceleration and braking commands uh, this reference of uh, applications as uh, these variants there is the open loop and longitudinal block this open loop this is the important one previous one is not 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 having this uh, this one this hybrid uh, electric vehicle application you can use this open loop control subsystems in this subsystem you can configure the acceleration deceleration and uh, gear and clutch commands with constant or uh, signal based inputs here uh, this ideal uh, to ideal the engine at the beginning of dry cycle and simulate catalyst light off uh, before moving the vehicle and the pedal command use this longitudinal dri driver variant the longitudinal driver subsystem includes an ignition switch uh, signal profile also if the controller subsystem provides and the, the, the PCM PCM containing uh, what is something mean? PCM is a powertrain control module uh, containing an input power split HCM and ECM here the ECM is a um, uh, SA engine controller here we here also some more options we are uh, available here ECM option and input power slip HCM option here this input uh, power split HCM implements a dynamic supervisory controller that determines the engine torque and generator torque and motor torque and uh, um, brake pressure commands especially the inputs uh, power split HCM here also you can uh, convert the driver acceleration pedal signal into a vehicle target request this algorithm uses a optimal engine torque and maximum torque used to calculate the total powertrain torques as the wheels and also uh, by using this uh, uh, split HCM we can convert uh, drive brake pedal signal to uh, brake pressure per request this also these algorithms multiplies the brake pedal signal by maximum brake pressure implements the uh, important one this one implement regenerative braking algorithm for the traction uh, motor to recover the maximum amount of kinetic energy from the vehicle and also it implements a virtual battery management system this algorithm outputs a dynamic discharge and charge most of the uh, subscribers wants what is a charging and discharging of uh, battery management of this particularly el electrical vehicles or uh, hybrid electrical vehicles so that uh, for for the subscriber this video is more important for uh, the research and uh, thesis okay. then the, the algorithm outputs the dynamic discharge and uh, charge power limits as a function of battery state of, state of charge here this determines a vehicle operating mode through a set of rules and decision logic implemented in state flow also this that the uh, operation modes are functions of wheel speed and requested wheel torque the algorithm also uses the wheel power request and acceleration pedal battery state of charge and vehicle speed uh, rules to transition between electrical vehicle and the HV, um, uh, um, hybrid electrical wind modes here also you can utilize uh, uh, to compare um, for uh, EV and HEV modes operating mode regions here um, the green shades indicates EV, more, EV uh, request um, uh, torque versus where we have a wheel speed uh, in terms of RPM and uh, the, um, this requested wheel torque you can see here uh, this uh, this HEV charge uh, deplete shared and uh, the HEV charge sustain also um, indicates your um, uh, to op optimize the performance of your uh, design also here the two modes are available here uh, what is the EV modes is a, this EV mode traction motor provides a wheel torque request in this HEV mode charge sustaining that is a low power mode and also high power mode also there in hybrid electric vehicle model in the engine provides the wheel torque request and torque blending algorithms transitions the torque production from EV motor to the HEV engine now simulation going on now also the output is coming here uh, for this uh, FTP uh, 75 that is a 2474 seconds uh, output output it shows it's a battery current and fuel uh, battery state of charge also you can see here still uh, running running is going on after finish the uh, simulation you will see see the result overall summary energy reports is running here And then uh, uh, this model based on HEV model that is a low power model is based on the target battery SOC and available kinetic energy and the HEV mode determines a charge sustainable power uh, the mode includes the additional charge charge power in the engine power commands and also it provides that is a, um, a decent, uh, charge power and uh, traction motors act as a generator and HEV high power mode 
high power mode also preferable for uh, to provide wheel wheel power request up to its maximum output okay then if, if the wheel request uh, is greater than the engine torque output the wheels the traction provides the remainder of the wheel request then the another mode is a stationary mode when the stationary modes used to while the vehicle in uh, it has rest mode then the engine and the generator can provide optional charging uh, if uh, state of charge is below or uh, minimum soc value is by using this energy application that is a hybrid vehicle electric vehicle input power split uh, reference application example we can uh, choose four mode four modes are there here in first mode ev mode and second mode hev low power mode and uh, third mode is hev charge uh, depleting high power mode and final one is a stationary mode in the stationary mode the vehicle in rest mode rest manner then next one the controls the motor generator and engine through the set of rules and decision logic in implemented in state flow here in this block we saw the three three kind of controls the first one is engine control and generator control and motor control in the engine control some more um, decision algorithms and logics we are going to use for decision logic that determines the engine operation modes it is off or uh, start or run mode and also uh, in this engine uh, engine run mode lookup tables are uh, utilized here this lookup table determines the engine torque and engine speed that optimize the brake sufficient fuel consumption that is bsfc for a given um, a engine power request engine power request the ecm uses the optimal engine torque uh, torque command here, here this is a, so, uh, a bsfc chart that is a brake specify specific uh, fuel consumption block is there engine torque and engine uh, gen, uh, control block here uh, then the next one is the generator block. Generator block is the decision determined by the HCM. Uh, that is where um, uh, generator either starts the engine or regulates the engine speed to regulate the engine speed uh, by based on the PA controller. And the final block controller is the motor controller. Here um, the motor controller here rule based power management algorithms are replaced here to calculate a motor torque and does not exceed the dynamic power limits also there. Here uh, the passenger car subsystems and electric power plant subsystem and engine subsystem. These are the references taken by, by, by Mathworks here. Now we are getting this uh, output here. Now it, it, it shows the uh, energy report uh, in live editor. Overall summary displays uh, um, for um, average efficiency for electric power plant summary and uh, drive train power summary here. It shows here you can see electric power efficiency engine survey efficiency average efficiency 0 0.022 and inputs what are the inputs based on that uh, our drive cycles it shows the energy efficiency histogram also the previous one um, the EV reference applications um, so it shows only and the um, average of power and um, um, energy analysis here also we can uh, use trade-off analysis and optimization also possible with this hybrid electric vehicle application reference application the energy is uh, uh, energy efficiency uh, it displays in input power efficiency and occupancy time and also it shows the average efficiency of 0 0.84 that is 84 percent are uh, 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 generated here this is a dry plant summary based on that we can get this uh, uh, sda plot also in this sda plot you can uh, see you can uh, analyze um, and the previous one not with uh, the, the trade-off analysis and all you can see the you can see the previous video ev reference model the sda plots have less uh, less comparison results here you can also use use this model uh, gearbox and motor generator blocks and motor shaft and input losses also you can calculate here losses stored uh, losses are stored here the here the gear, gearbox some um, gearbox summary and the efficiency here in this manner you can see the efficiency and losses also you can uh, com compare the results here what is the input and um, there are mapped data the all, all kind of comparisons uh, available here for uh, this, this type of hybrid electric vehicle applications you can see in this model you can compare your result and also export your model uh, model uh, model in terms of uh, workspace in terms of html report um, I all, all can, you can also save this result save us save this session as uh, ML that text format or all files format, it, otherwise it shows. Uh, you can also import as in the uh, import as separate uh, figure also. Here itself, you can see um, 
this address velocity and target and engine speed and motor speed and generator speed these are uh, important block is include here um, um, and uh, in this for hybrid electric vehicle model here uh, here also you can uh, utilize this measurement this is a cashier measurement also you can you utilize it here in this cashier measurement it shows uh, the trace velocity there are two uh, cursors are there you can analyze at the same time engine speed and battery state of charge and also you can um, check check with signal statistics and where, where is the um, where the maximum value uh, minimum value peak to peak current and all the all kind of uh, measurement is possible here and also uh, by level measurements and also you can view the uh, legends also based on that you can make your own uh, design here also you can see the overshoots and undershoots options the, it is a pre shoot and overshoot options all the all the analysis as possible with this type of reference applications and also you can uh, make your refer, make your model that is a save, save us your model uh, in uh, matlab coded file there is a matlab live code files and uh, matlab live code live code files they are also also matlab file um, matlab m file and pdf and docx file and latex format also it supports also you can save also you can save your report in the form of a, a, a pdf i want to replace this one because previous one i have saved saved in the same uh, file name now itself you can see the uh, report in the form of uh, running overall summary report and the energy engine um, energy engine efficiency histogram and what is the report in the form also you can import the sta plot also i hope uh, all of you enjoyed this session of our uh, hybrid electric electric vehicle reference applications if, if there is any qu if any queries if, if you are uh, like this video kindly uh, like and share like and share and comments on my videos thank you thank you so much uh, please support my channel if you are a new user kindly uh, subscribe my channel thank you